Uh, so this is a uh, 2009 uh, Cup Cadet with a Kohler engine, and um, so someone put uh, cheap gasoline in it, and I never do. I never put cheap gasoline on my small engines, like that one's over there, because I'm going to put cheap gasoline. I put the highest octane. And I've had this tractor for 10 years, never had problems till someone filled it up with cheap gas. All right, so um, the next time I try to start it, it wouldn't start. And uh, we've already tested everything. Uh, drain uh, from the fuel tank is coming out. Uh, the, so the fuel uh, filter is still good. The fuel pump, we tested it, we disconnected this exit turned the key over made the engine turn over and it was pumping fuel so that was good both spark plugs this one and the one on the other side uh, they both have spark uh, so everything was looking good and then we you know obviously traced it down to the carburetor so the first thing I did or suspected was this solenoid down here Solenoid acts as a uh, shutoff for the fuel. When you turn off the key, uh, the plunger comes up by a spring that's in here, and it blocks off the fuel that still runs through by gravity. Even though the engine's off and the pump is not running, gravity still pushes through. And so if this is not at the correct spot, uh, it would um, say it gets stuck. Uh, it, if it gets stuck in the uh, closed position, the next time it's not going to start. And that's what happened to me. So last night I took it off. I cleaned it, made it work. I hooked up this uh, solenoid to the 12 volts battery in the back of the tractor here. And it was working fine. It was popping in and out. So I put it back in, started the engine, it started up, it was um, surging. So I turned it off and I was like, well, okay, I'll come back tomorrow, which is today. Well, something disastrous happened overnight. This thing got stuck in the open position. What happened was, oh, I, I came in and the fuel was up to here. There's no fuel. It's gone. So I'm looking for the fuel. And I remove the, the filter uh, casing here. And I find fuel in here. So I come over to the dipstick for the engine. And look at this. All the gasoline is in here. Yesterday, I needed oil. Now, it's a real clean, light, transparent, gasoline-smelling oil. This engine is full of gasoline. If I try to crank it over, this thing is just going to explode. And the engine, the aluminum is going to pop. All this is going to pop. Uh, I've also suspected this wet looking area to be gasoline trying to leak out of the seals so i got a real bad situation because of that plunger first it locked itself so it wouldn't let gas in so it wouldn't start and then last night it got stuck in the open position now the reason why this is cut open uh this is not how you test uh, for a fuel line you simply grab this with a pliers and open that but last night I saw a video on someone saying that the correct thing to do with those plunger I mean uh, solenoid problems is to put a, a shutoff valve uh, and so I went today and got it at the auto parts it's four dollars and like 80 cents or something like that uh, universal shutoff valve 
for gasoline small engines and so I came in and I was gonna cut it and I expected a lot of fuel to come down and to my surprise I was one day late for this idea if I'd have had this last night I could have shut it off last night and I would have still had gas and I would have cleaned the carburetor today and we're gonna be back in business but too late so anyways hopefully this helps someone out there